Hey guys, in this part we're going to be um, creating the update function or adding to it so that we can actually change values and save them and then have have the changes reflect on the front end. So we need to go to... Actually, you know what I want to do first is this form function. I don't like it having all of this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom function and then just um, take all this and put that in it. So basically I want all of this cut so that you have nothing in your form function and then we're just going to say this get form and we just want to pass in instance Okay, and then down here we'll create a new function. Get form. And this should take an instance. And then just paste that in. Okay. Let me just copy this. I, know, I like to try to keep it clean with comments. So this will get in display backend form. And the parameter is going to be an instance. All right, so update, where is it? Right here. Basically, we just need to copy this. and then do that for all of our fields. So we have page URL. Height and width. Let me just close this out. Okay, width, color. And let's see, we got show faces. Show header. Show posts. I missed one right here. Show posts. Okay, we need one more. And that's for show border. Okay, so that's it for the update function. So let's save this and now let's reload the back end and let's go ahead and change. Let's see, we'll change the color to dark. Let's see if that sticks. Did it save? All right, so it did, color dark. So let's go ahead and go to the front end and reload. And there it is. Okay, so you can see it has the dark header. 
Uh, so now we just need to check, test out the parameters. Um, let's see, we'll go. Let's change it back to light. And let's not show the faces. False. Show header. Um, show post. We'll set to true. Save. All right, so you can see now it's light. Um, the faces are gone and it's showing the posts. All right, so this works out real good. I thought we'd have more debugging. Uh, show header, false. All right, so that gets rid of that header up here. All right. I'll change the width, say 400. Cool. All right, so that's how you make a WordPress widget or plugin. And this is the first video I've made on this, but um, I'm going to make some more and I'm going to um, create a video to make a, a much bigger plugin that basically we can use for maybe an image gallery or something like that. So please subscribe and stay tuned.